Well, good morning, guys. Welcome back to Sniper Photography. Look, just quickly, um, early this morning, I left here, my home, at 3 a.m. to go to uh, towards the coast. I went up, went out to a place called Botany Bay or La Perouse, but more importantly, it's uh, the place or the location that I wanted to photograph, or I did photograph, was Bear Island. Now, Bear Island is just inside the um, the heads of Botany Bay, and as you know. In 1770, 29th of April 1770, uh, Captain James Cook, the English navigator, sailed into this uh, this uh, bay and originally called it Stingray Bay, but then later he changed it to Botany Bay because um, of one of the botanists he had on uh, his uh, ship. Now, the location uh, this morning was very difficult. It, um, I had to deal with Chinese fishermen. Uh, getting in the way on the on the wharf because they can fish off the wharf because what you've got here is and you'll see in the video that the, there's a public wharf that goes from the mainland and it's attached to the island at the other side. Uh, very historic place this. Um, it was built in the early 1800s. It was the, the actual fort itself. Uh, it was used during World War One and World War II. Uh, they had massive cannons on there. They were protecting Sydney Harbour, um, protecting Botany Bay, sorry. And then between First World War and Second World War, it was a, a convalescent home for war veterans. Uh, that was between that was after the First World War, and then Second World War broke out, and they uh, re reinstated the the guns and the cannons on there. And then once the war finished, it was uh, closed down, and now the national parks <coughs> uh, manage it. And you can do tours of it, and you'll see this in the video. This location, um, one of the one of the shots that I wanted to get was unavailable to me. I wanted to get under the bridge and shoot up through the timber work, but it was a 1.7 metre high tide, a very large high tide. I just couldn't get down there. I'll, I'll have to go back at another time. Plus, it was windy, very, very windy, and I'm sorry about the audio in this video, but there was just nothing I could do about it. Um, but I will be going back uh, probably midweek. I think this location, if you're in Sydney and you want to photograph this location, I think midweek would be better um, because on weekends it's it's very, very busy. I said I left here at 3 o'clock in the morning, 3am uh, this morning, and for about two, two and a half hour drive to get there. And it wasn't too bad. You'll see some of the images at the end of the video, but um, they could be better, could be better, but hey, that's what it is. I was out and about and Basically, the light didn't really want to play the game um, this morning, but I managed to do okay. A few long exposure um, shots and bracketing and so forth, but it's a very historic area, Bear Island at La Perouse, at the mouth of Botany Bay. But it is a location um, which I think has to be um, photographed midweek, come Saturday and Sunday, real early. I mean, people turn up. Basically, the fishermen are able to fish off the the um, bridge that's joining the mainland to the island, which is okay. They're entitled to be there, but uh, some of the couple of the images that I took, unfortunately, I'll have to um, clone them out out of the shot. But um, other than that, wasn't too bad of a morning. But um, look, having said that, uh, we'll jump into the video. Uh, if you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button, the bell next door, so you don't miss anything. So let's roll the video, and I'll speak to you soon. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, look, I've just driven two and a half hours to uh, the coast from my place. I left, I left at 3 a.m. this morning to get here, so it's been a very early start. Um, I've come down to a place called Botany Bay or La Perouse, but mainly uh, the location I'll be photographing today is Bear Island. And as you've just seen in the introduction video, it's a very historic site. I'm actually perched up here on a cliff and there's some really good compositional um, uh, opportunities here at Bear Island and I've, this has been on my bucket list for some time and, but I've just been too busy with my commercial photography to get down here down to the coast plus the waterfalls up at home are, are running a bit slow because we haven't had much rain for five weeks now so I thought I'd come down here and photograph this iconic location and this, this location has been photographed billions of times but don't let that put you off because there's compositions here that people probably haven't seen. So I'm just waiting for the light now. It's due in about 25, maybe 30 minutes, half an hour. I'm going to set up and then I'll go through with you what I'm um, actually doing here. But um, 
I don't know what the sky is going to do, but it's it's happening. Well, the big show, the big dance should start in about 25 minutes here. So I'll set up and I'll turn the camera back on and I'll show you exactly what I'm photographing. Well, as you can see, that is, uh, that's my first shot of the morning and unfortunately, this is a public, uh, public bridge that goes out to the island. And unfortunately for me, some Chinese fishermen have decided to fish off the, uh, off the bridge. Thank God for Photoshop. I'll have to Photoshop them out. What a shame. Um, but they have every right to be there, so that's okay. With the marvels of technology at our disposal, I can get, in, get rid of any unwanted um, distractions. So, But that's the shot. Um, looking straight down the barrel of the lens, uh, straight down the, the bridge, and then into the island. The sky to the left of me is starting to light up. You can probably see a bit of it in the video here, but probably about another half an hour I think um, we will be just about uh, done here I think uh, it's the tides going out I wanted to get a shot underneath the bridge I don't know whether I'm going to be able to do that or not so but I've taken a few more images here um, but geez it's a popular place <coughs> and unfortunately I've got these people on this, uh, this this public bridge here which is a shame actually but I'll have to do a bit of uh, manipulation in Photoshop to remove them. But that is the shot, that's what I'm looking at. So I'll take a few more and I'll come back to you very shortly. Okay, I've uh, switched over to a six stop neutral density filter just to smooth that water out. Um, Got to be very careful here that I don't blow out the sky. So I've taken multiple exposures. Um, I've also, uh, here this morning, I've focus stacked, um, stitching, in other words, stitched the images together in Lightroom Photoshop. Uh, done a couple of panorama uh, images here as well. Uh, with stitching or combining images together, I'll give you a free tip there. If you're going to take a panorama where you take consecutive shots, one, two, three, four, and so on, what I like to do is put my hand in front of the lens, take a shot, then I take my series of shots, and then I get my right hand and place that in front of the camera. The reason why I do that is because when you go and load them up onto your computer screen and you've taken probably 30 or 40 images and you're looking for them. So what I like to do with the hands in front at the beginning and in the end, that tells me exactly what images I am needing to stitch together. So just a bit of a free tip there if you didn't know that. Um, other than that hasn't been too bad. As I said, I've got a six stop neutral density filter on. That's giving me around about uh, probably a four, four minute exposure, um, which isn't too bad. Uh, once again, you've got to be very careful that you don't blow out the sky here um, because now it's just about over, the, 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 uh, the big dance is finished. So with this we will um, uh, wrap it up and we'll get back into the studio and we'll find out exactly what the images look like. It hasn't been too bad, but 
I don't know, this morning the sky just didn't do it for us. But it's just good to be here. As I said, it was an early start, so. But we'll wrap it up, and then uh, I'll put the uh, images at the end of this, this uh, video. Um, yeah, so take a look at them. Uh, any anything you want to know about them, just put them down. Put the put your comments down below, or just ask questions down below. So that's it. I'll take one more long exposure shot because I love my neutral density filters, and then we'll wrap it up here at Bear Island, at La Perouse in Botany Bay.